story today. Millions of Americans are in the path of a winter storm that is pounding the East Coast. Several states stretching from the mid-Atlantic to New England are in a state of emergency. The massive storm is causing hurricane-force winds, blizzard conditions, and freezing temperatures. Officials in some areas are warning of widespread power outages and coastal flooding. Forecasters say the weather event could be historic for New England, where Boston could get up to two feet of snow. For more, I want to bring in CBS News' Wendy Gillette, who is in Long Island in New York. Wendy, I've been watching you out there taking the snow off of your face. Tell us, how are the conditions where you are? Yeah, Lana, we've been out here all morning, and I have to say probably the conditions are the worst that they've been right now. You can see the snow is just blowing directly in my face, snow coming down <laughs> about one to two inches an hour, and the, the snow is blowing so hard because the wind is about 25, 30 miles per hour, but the gusts are going as high as 50 miles per hour, so obviously that is blowing the snow very, very hard. So in terms of accumulation, you can and see how much it is right here. Of course, the snow is blowing, but around a foot has fallen. And we're in a parking lot. They've been pushing the snow into one corner. You can see right there this massive mound of snow. That's how much has fallen here in Riverhead on Long Island. My kids would have fun with that. I have to say, I don't envy you being outside right now. I see those gu those wind gusts. And even coming into the studio this morning, uh, the, I saw cars all slipping and sliding on the roads. How dangerous are those conditions? Well, there's a couple trucks that have pulled off the highway here. You can see them in the distance. We're just off the highway. They pulled off the road a few hours ago. This is my SUV, and oops, I don't want to slide here because it's really treacherous. There's this layer of ice, and Gary, you can show how underneath the snow, there's just this sheet of ice, and it's because it feels like three degrees. It's 21 here, but it feels like three, and it's extremely treacherous just to walk around. That ice is pretty much coating everything. You can see um, it's uh, frozen my windshield wipers. They're not working anymore, and if you try to drive around, um, it basically coats your uh, windshield with this ice, so it's extremely dangerous to be on the roads right now. Well, there are some people who want to be outside to take advantage of that snow, mostly young kids. Um, but, uh, but there are also some people like you who, because of their jobs, have to be outside. Uh, you know, Wendy, I, I read something very interesting today about if you're out uh, in these types of conditions, that you should make sure you don't have your hands in your pockets, even though that's a natural inclination, because uh, that's, if you're going to fall, it's better to fall on your, on your forearms. Tell us, do you have any other advice for people who either need to be outside or, or have to be outside right now? Well, well, I walk like this. Right. Like, I, just I heard, in case I, I heard the right way is to walk like a duck or a penguin out on the snow. That that's the safest thing for people. Okay. That seems like a pretty appropriate. Well, I would definitely, my advice would say, uh, do not go out because it, it feels like three degrees. Look at this ice. I mean, <laughs> if this doesn't create a picture for you, I, I don't know what does. I mean, I have a, a ice mustache and beard. I, mean, <laughs> I, I think that pretty much says it all, right? All right. I think that, that does it for us. Wendy, get inside, get someplace warm. Thank you. Sure.